In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of publishing your site, as well as actually how to share it with somebody so they can be a, a collaborative editor. Just like you can share a Google Doc with someone and they can sign in and help you write your document, or just view it. Now, publishing is kind of a big concept. So when you're working in your Google Site platform, so as you're designing things, if I were to say, insert some type of text box or whatever it might be, this right now is not viewable to the public. We're in draft mode. And any changes you do will not be viewable until you actually hit this publish button. So you can be typing things, you can leave it, come back to it, spell check, all these things, keep editing it, and nothing is going to be public or viewable to the users that can see your site until you hit the publish button. Now, the first time you hit the publish button, it's going to ask you to actually name your website. And you can actually see the domain that's automatically given, and this might be a little bit different for you. I'm creating this site underneath my Madison Enterprise account, so my domain is always going to start with uh, the sites.google.com slash madisonnjps.org slash whatever my website address is. If you're using a personal account, this is going to look a little bit different. I'm going to call this Sites Workshop. It's going to check to see if that's available, which it is. And now the website URL to actually access my sites is sites.google.com slash madisonnjps.org slash sites workshop. And I can actually change my sharing permissions. Now, right now, the default setting for me is that anyone on the World Wide Web can view this site. So if anyone goes to this domain, they can see my website, whether they're signed into an account or not. And the reason that this is my default setting is because when I made my Google site, I put it in a folder that was already shared public on the web. This may be different as your default. Either way, you can actually change these settings by hitting the Manage button. So if I actually wanted to say share this with somebody as a collaborative editor, I can type in their email or their name here, and then they'll actually have editing feedback. Or say, for example, if I wanted to share it with somebody, I could give them editing feedback, or I can make them a viewer, uh, but not necessarily able to make changes just like a Google Doc. I can also change who can actually see the published site. So if I hit this change button, right now you can see that anyone can actually see my websites. So anyone can see the draft, anyone can see the published site, anyone can see uh, the public site in the Madison domain. I want my drafts to be restricted. So nobody can see my drafts unless I've manually shared it with them. The published site, if you want it to be viewable by anybody, you can leave that to be public. If you wanted to say be Madison Public Schools only, you can change it to Mad Madison Public Schools. You could also share this with just a specific group of people. So if I actually went to my folder where I made this site, I could actually share this with, say, a specific group of people. So if I had like a Google Classroom, I could type in my Google Classroom and make those students individually, those students, uh, viewers of the site. So instead of being shared with anybody, I can actually share it with just a specific population. I want this site to be public. So nobody can see my drafts, but anyone can actually find the site whether they're in Madison or not. So I'm going to hit done. If you want, you can choose to not display the site in a search engine, and then you can hit publish. Once you've published your site, you can say that the site has been successfully published down here at the bottom, and then I can hit the view button and actually see what that site looks like. So here is my Google site in another tab. Because I'm signed in as me, I see the little pencil editor button. But if I were to view this site on a browser where I wasn't signed into, I would not see that editor button. The other thing is once you've published your site for the first time, the publish button is going to be a little bit different. So if I try to publish now, it's going to pop up and say, no changes have been made, there's nothing to publish. If I make a change, so for example, if I drag in a quick little text box here, I can hit the publish button and it'll show me what the current site looks like and any changes I've made. So that way you can actually review. And again, these changes aren't viewable until I hit this publish button. So if I see something I don't like, I can then go back, change it, and then publish it again. 